Hi, I'm Kimberly Chafee from Kimberly's Quilting and Sewing. This week we're going to go over the 10 spectacular tips found in your sewing machine manual. One of the most important things that you should do when you buy a sewing machine is to familiarize yourself with the parts. Your book is a wonderful resource for finding out what all those parts are, what their names are, and their function. So our spectacular tip number one is to find out the parts of your sewing machine in your manual. Our spectacular tip number two is to find out what accessories came in your machine. The book lists all the feet that came with their machine and what their functions are. A lot of times there are parts that are underneath your machine that you didn't know were there because you didn't look in your book. So make sure you check out your book to find out all the accessories that come with your machine. Our spectacular tip number three is to familiarize yourself with all the buttons on your machine. Your book has a very lengthy explanation of what each button does, why it does what it does, and how to utilize it best so that your sewing comes out really, really great with the use of these buttons. There are times when you are quilting that you need to drop your feed dogs, and most every machine on the market, that is a function that comes with that sewing machine. Get into your manual and find out how to drop your feed dogs because it will help you with your quilting or other sewing projects. So our spectacular tip number four is go find in your manual how to drop your feed dogs. I really want you to know how to adjust your thread tension. Thread tension is the number one phone call we receive in our shop because people aren't sure what it should look like if the machine is acting properly or if they're using the right needle and thread. Your book has a very good explanation of what thread tension looks like when it is properly adjusted. And I really encourage you with spectacular tip number five to open your book and find out really what thread tension looks like and how it should behave on your machine. Spectacular tip number six is to find out what this is used for. Once you find out what this is about and what it is used for, your decorative stitches are going to look a lot better. So open your book and find out what this is all about because you can touch it and move it and you won't mess up your machine. I really want your sewing to come out nice and part of that is knowing what type of needle to use with the type of fabric you're sewing on. Your machine manual actually has a chart inside that shows you the size of the needle with the type of fabric you're using. This is extremely important because oftentimes we field phone calls where they are sewing a heavyweight fabric with the wrong size needle and the machine isn't acting properly. This will save you time in the future, so be sure to open your manual, find the chart, and make sure that you have access to that and use it for your sewing to come out really nice. Our spectacular tip number eight involves winding the bobbin. This step might seem a little tedious, but it is extremely important that when you wind your bobbin, you have the right tension on the bobbin, and that when you insert it in the bobbin casing, it goes through the correct tensioner. Your book has really detailed instructions on how to do this and how to make sure that you wound your bobbin properly. I encourage you to take a minute to check this out so that you can either verify that you have been doing it correctly or maybe learn that you haven't been doing it correctly and need to make an adjustment. Believe it or not, your sewing machine came with more than one foot. Our spectacular tip number nine involves opening your book and finding out all the different feet that came with your sewing machine. You have a zipper foot, an applique foot, a standard sewing foot, a buttonhole foot, and many more accessory feet that you should be using to utilize for the best possible sewing for your project. So I encourage you to open your book and find out what all the machine feet do. They're very easy to change and only take a second and you will find that your sewing actually improves when you use the correct foot for your sewing machine. Our spectacular tip number 10 involves cleaning your machine. Your manual actually has detailed instructions on how to do basic proper maintenance for your sewing machine. Don't be afraid to open up the bobbin casing, clean out that area with either a vacuum cleaner or a lint brush and a dry cloth and then maybe drop in a drop of oil down in that bobbin casing. Your book will go over these instructions and I highly encourage you to just do some really basic maintenance. Oh, and don't forget to clean the lint out of the feed dogs. That is the number one reason that the machine won't feed the proper fabric through at the proper speed. So be sure to check out the back of your book where it tells you how to clean your sewing machine and that will help you have a better sewing experience. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video on the 10 spectacular tips found in your sewing machine manual. Please like and subscribe for more videos from Kimberly's Quilting and Sewing.